Abraham Kiptum is a Kenyan long-distance runner who has steadily been gaining recognition over the past year or so. On October 28th, 2018, Kiptum famously broke the world record in the half marathon by running a time of 58 minutes and 18 seconds. This performance broke the great Zersene Tedeschi's previous world record by 5 seconds. This world record skyrocketed Kiptum into the distance running limelight, and countless people are eager to watch him run his next race. Luckily, we will soon have the ability to watch him race as he's running the 2019 London Marathon on April 28th. And although most people know him for his incredible 58-18 half marathon, he's also run a 2 hour, 4 minute, and 16 second marathon, which he ran at the Abu Dhabi Marathon on December 7th, 2018. Kiptum's rapid rise to distance running glory has left many people in complete shock, and many from all around the world have the exact same question. How fast can Abraham Kiptum run? The big question on everyone's mind is how will Abraham Kiptum perform at the 2019 London Marathon? Personally, I think he's almost guaranteed to break two hours and five minutes, and additionally, I think he's one of the few people that can challenge Elliot Kipchoge in the marathon. If you combine his world record last year in the half marathon, plus his super quick two hour, four minute, and 16 second marathon, Kiptum has an incredible amount of momentum on his side. Even if the Pacers run through the half marathon in one hour and one minute or so, I could see Kiptum hanging in tight with Kipchoge in relatively comfortable fashion. Now, I want to be clear here. I still think that Kipchoge is simply on another level in the marathon, and I think he's also likely going to run away with the victory in London, but I can't help but get excited when analyzing Abraham Kiptum's marathon potential. I mean, he's such a rapidly rising athlete, he's run some super fast times, and I cannot wait to watch him run this Sunday. One clear indicator that Kiptum is going to do well in London is his stride. Now, I realize that I frequently talk about strides in different athletes, but there's something truly unique about Kiptum's long and loping stride. He combines pure power with effortless execution. Watching him run is a real pleasure because it honestly looks like he's floating. A few unique aspects of Kiptum's stride include a flat foot landing, great hip and knee drive, excellent arm carriage, and a balanced forward lean. It's very interesting to analyze Kiptum because his stride is actually quite similar to Elliot Kipchoge. The main difference I see is that Kipchoge's stride is slightly more efficient and balanced, while Kiptum's is slightly more powerful. Now, in the marathon, the advantage clearly goes to Kipchoge, as the marathon is a true race of endurance. However, the similarities are definitely present. Another incredible factor about Kiptum is that he's still a relatively new athlete. According to both Wikipedia and the IAAF, he's only been racing since 2016. Most athletes that emerge as elite marathoners have at least some track and field experience or perhaps some previous road racing, but Kiptum's running resume is still being built, so what he's gonna be able to run the marathon is quite uncertain. The hype around Abraham Kiptum is undeniably compelling. He's clearly an incredible talent, and I think it's pretty obvious that he's built for both the marathon and the half marathon. In my opinion, I think that Abraham Kiptum will be able to run a 2 hour, 2 minute, and 30 second marathon. However, I think he'll have to wait until 2020, or perhaps 2021 to run this time. I think he's got incredible potential, but I think he needs just a little more experience in the marathon before he runs this time. And now I pass the question off to you. What do you think he'll be able to run in the marathon? Thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to tune in this Sunday morning to the 2019 London Marathon, and I'll catch you all in the next video.